I would love to tell you more about the van life when I was living it. So, got my van in 2004. It was a Chevy Express cargo van. And I've had it ever since. It was brand new. It was totally empty. I paid a fabrication company to build out the inside. And actually, kind of funny, they built it. See this, like, diamond pin? Uh, that's what that's called, actually, that little design. They did that, but with black and maroon, and um, the guy at the time said, I made it to look like the inside of a coffin, and I was like, how did you know what I'm all about? But anyway, <laughs> it was really cool, and I didn't get to use it a lot early on as much as I wanted to. I was, my boyfriend was someone who was not great, and a lot of weird things were going on in my life. So then when I met um, Drake, who is my husband, he saw the van and he was like, this is amazing. Oh my gosh, we have to use it. And I was like, I want to, I've always wanted to. I just have never been able to go around in it and live in it the way that I always wanted to. So we uh, basically chose a date. I It was 2016, April of 2016. We moved our stuff into storage and we got in the van and we head out on the road and we traveled the country for about three years total living in the van. We would head out and stay out on the road until uh, it would be winter time and so we would head back around Thanksgiving or early December to Southern California where my parents lived at the time and so that would kind of be like our winter base because California it wasn't so bad and we didn't want to be traveling in this big van through parts of the country that just have really gnarly weather and snow and stuff like that and that's how we did it though the final year was 2018 and that one my father had passed away at the end of 2017 so we spent a lot of time at home with my mom and then we would head out for like a month here and there and then come back and spend time with my mom and kind of be there for her so that was that era of van life and in 2018 that was when we drove to Alaska and that is it should be a bucket list item for everyone driving to Alaska it is like flying to another planet you see so many things. The landscape is so dynamic and it's stunning and beautiful. And then the closer you get to Alaska, it gets so desolate and it gets really weird. There are, there are areas that look like the surface of the moon and it's, it's really fascinating. And we spent about three weeks driving around Alaska which I didn't know you can only drive around this really small portion of Alaska. It is humongous. But anyway, so that's just like that one specific part of the trip. But we came back from that. We decided maybe it's time for us to sort of settle down. I knew I wanted to grow and expand the business, the Sense Age Studios. And so we decided we would settle down in Las Vegas. And we were thinking, we kept saying, oh, it's only going to be a year. We're only going to be here for a year. And that was 2019. <laughs> so it wasn't just that year. After the first year, we were like, okay, probably just one more year. But then the pandemic happened. So we ended up staying in Vegas for four years. But what was amazing is that during that time and over the course of the pandemic, we actually realized at the end of our trip in the van that our knees were really aching because the van, it was just a normal size cargo van. It wasn't like, you know, sprinter van style or anything. So we wanted to purchase a top to go on our van so that we could stand up inside of it. And that's what we were able to do. So Drake cleared out the entire van. He took everything out of it, destroyed all of what it used to be and rebuilt it from scratch. He built 100% of what is inside that van right now. And I am going to do a video where I take you on a van tour and I show you everything that he has built and all the storage. And now we have a sink, we have a cutting board, we have a stove top, we have a refrigerator. 
these are all things that like we did not have in the previous version of the van. We had a bed, but we did we had to use like a camp stove and all this other stuff. So now it's fully functional that we can really live in there without need for much other stuff. Uh, and then we bought a house out here in Illinois, and so we use it for camping and for traveling in. We left last year at the beginning of December and traveled December through March. We didn't get back home until March. And so we just really love being in the van and traveling around the country. The next place we really wanna go for an extended trip is actually up to the Northeast because we spent a little bit of time there, but not nearly as much as we want to. And there's a lot of exploration we wanna do there and also the Eastern part of Canada. So we were thinking maybe next summer that might be something that we do. But we still really love the van life. Uh, we love traveling in it. And when we were living in the van, it was really cool. There are all these things, all these apps and things that are really useful uh, that you can use now that you couldn't, that didn't exist 20 years ago when I first got the van. So all these apps now that you can use, we, we, we've used an app called couch surfers because sometimes we would need a place to shower and I would just go on couch surfers, which is people share places with other travelers. And I would say, I don't need a place to stay. I just need to take a shower. And so we met people that would let us take a shower at their house. It was really interesting and cool. I met someone who actually studies spiders and is getting her doctorate in spiders. <laughs> and I was terrified of them at the time and after we had a conversation and she taught me all about them i was like i have nothing to be afraid of spiders are friends unless they are black widows or brown recluse they are friends and so just this, this really life-changing experience we went to van meets which are cool things where people who travel or live in their vans meet up and have a gathering and we do potlucks and sing songs and just hang out together. And um, we have some great friends that we met from that that are still friends to this day. We visit them and uh, so I highly recommend it. If you have any other questions about, specifically about the van life, specific questions, I would love to answer those as well uh, and how we lived that lifestyle. And I encourage people to do it, especially as cost of living just keeps getting higher and higher. If you can find yourself a job that you can work remotely and you, all you need is internet access from time to time, you can go everywhere. You don't have to stay in one spot. I think some people, when they think about living in their van, they think it's like a last resort and you have to just like live in the city, in a city or a town and stay there and just sleep in your van. It's, it's not like that. You can travel and you can get yourself a Planet Fitness membership and shower there and you can go everywhere you want and just get your work done on the computer and you don't have to be in a particular area. So yeah, it's honestly a great lifestyle and let me know if you have any more questions about it.